Hey cosplayers, welcome to the Cosplay Apprentice, where I empower you to forge your favorite fandoms. For the last three years, I've been teaching cosplay techniques online and at live events, helping people to make their dreams a reality using easy to follow tutorials and simple DIY templates. I'm Skylar Osler, and in today's apprenticeship, I'll be showing you how to make Star Wars Sony Walkman. Stay tuned to the very end for a special surprise. So you want to know how to make Star-Lord's Sony Walkman, but you're unsure where to begin, or if you even have the skills to do it yourself. Maybe you've thought about buying it, but everything you've found is either super expensive or doesn't have the spot-on look you're hoping for. Well, if that's you, you've come to the right place. Let's jump in and I'll show you how using a pattern or template, you can forge your favorite fandom in five easy steps without being a professional artist or breaking the bank. Ready, set, forge. Step one, find your framework. Begin by finding a great template from someone that you trust and have seen the final product to make sure it produces the end result you're going for. For this tutorial, I'll be using a template I created and have available on my website that includes both a version that fits your phone inside and a slightly smaller screen accurate scale template. But there are lots of great template makers out there. Templates are awesome because it saves you tons of time in trying to get all the proportions and complicated artistic design elements all figured out, but still gives you that sense of accomplishment because you are the one who made it and the end product is generally guaranteed to look great. Step two, organize. All right, so with your framework selected, now it's time to jump into the build and start organizing. Generally, templates like this one will print to scale on eight and a half by 11 pages, making it super easy to print out at home. For bigger items, you may need to tape a couple pieces of the template pages together, but once you have that done, you're ready to cut out the pieces. This is where the real organizing begins. Good templates should be clearly labeled with some sort of sequential system that tells you the order of use. With this one, the pieces are alphabetical, so I'm laying them all out in order of use on the table. Trace all the pieces onto your material, in this case I'm using Sintra, and make sure to transfer the same numbers, letters, and registration marks on the template pieces over to your trace pieces as well. After you've finished tracing, you'll cut out all the pieces and once again organize them according to your template. Step 3. Revisit. Now that you are super organized, we need to review the template instructions and revisit any of the details to individual pieces that may need to be made before assembly. In this instance, we need to make sure to drill any holes, cut any undercuts, and etch any etched lines while it's still flat and easy to do. Then on to the next step. Step four, glue and assemble. Alrighty peeps, it's time to get our glue on. Depending on what type of glue you're using, make sure to wear the proper recommended safety gear for the product. Go through in the order the template has set up and assemble the pieces together. For this one, start with the main body piece A. Glue the ribbed piece B into place using super glue and create a couple screw heads using some poly plastics. While we're at it, let's jump over to the right side piece C. We're going to create some legit sliding controls on this thing. On each D piece, we're going to create and attach a slider button, piece E, with poly plastics, making sure that they'll be able to slide past one another. Next, using a rotary tool or other device, sand down ever so slightly a channel on the back side of C that both D pieces can run along. Then, being very careful not to get any glue in the channel, glue piece C into place on the F piece with some of that good old super glue. You can add a nice little power center pin on piece F using Polyplastics Magic, as well as the buttons G, H, I, and J. I recommend either roughing up the area the buttons will attach to, or even better, drilling a couple small holes in that area they'll attach so that the polyplastics has something to grip to and stay secure. Finish off the right side piece by attaching the microphone grate, piece K, into place on the F piece using super glue. Next, head on over to your L piece, and let's make sure that we get the top button piece M secured in place. Now that we have all four of our sides built up, let's attach them together. On the A piece, heat up and bend along the dotted lines. Heat and bend dotted lines on piece F as well. Next, the tape deck door, piece N. Heat and bend along the undercuts on this piece as well. Lastly, do the same thing to the P piece. Move the top piece L to the top of the A piece and the bottom O piece to the bottom of the A piece. The P piece will wrap around the whole right side of the A piece and get glued on there. Lastly, the F piece will glue in along the side of the P piece, finishing off the main body assembly. The last thing you need to do is to attach the N piece, the tape deck door, using either some small hinges from your local hardware store or by making some out of Sintra yourself. To strengthen up some of your glued connections, you can reinforce them on the inside using hot glue or polyplastics. 
and sand down or trim off any odd edges and smooth things out. Only one step left. Step 5. Whoops! You won't be getting any embellishment details from me. If you want to know what happens next and see the finished product, you're going to have to ask my friend Zonzon Zombie over on her channel, and she'll walk you through how to finish this thing off with all the details and a sweet paint job. We've got links to the template, a kit that includes all the tools and materials used on this project, and a free Starlord cosplay guide to help you put the play in your cosplay, all in the description below. Like, subscribe, and cosplay on with Zombie, my friends.